Hello, this is Dr. Saila. Let's talk about benefits of fasting today. Fasting is perhaps the oldest and most powerful dietary interventions. It has been practiced throughout all of human history. You probably know that in 2016, the Nobel Prize for Medicine has gone to a Japanese scientist, Dr. Oshumi, for his research on autophagy, which means self-feed. In other words, the process by which the human body eats its own damaged cells and unused proteins. This happens during starvation. When you don't give a chance to your body to do this, there is accumulation of damaged cells which eventually leads to various diseases in the body. Ancient India had recommended practice of fasting one day in a fortnight. They believed in connecting spiritual progress in human being with the biological necessity of human body. We must really admire and bow at their wisdom and deep scientific understanding of the body and mind. What are the biological effects of fasting? I'm not going to give you too much medical jargon here, but I want you to know a little bit. Fasting increases IGF levels in the body. It increases ketone body production and there is stem cell activation. It stimulates several metabolic reactions and inhibits apoptosis, which means natural death of cells in the body. Our intestine is a self-cleaning organ. There are certain complexes called migrating motor complexes, which in a layman's term are cleansing waves. Research showed that these cleansing waves get very strong when you fast. There are several variations of fasting. Some do it with just water and some do with juices and some only with non-solid food. And duration of fast varies too, intermittent, extended fasting and so on. You need to play around until you find the formula that works well for you. I'll just give you a little bit of guidance here. Shorter fasts are 16 to 8 hour fast or 20 to 4 hour fast, which means you fast for 16 hours and eat for 8 hours or fast for 20 hours and eat for 4 hours. Longer fasts involve 24 hour fast or 36 hour fast. For example, 36 hour fast involves on day 1 you eat your dinner and day 2 is a complete fast only water and day 3 you break your fast with breakfast. 36 hour fast is what I do personally every week. Some people do even longer fasts, but I discourage people from fasting for more than two or three days due to high risk of refeeding syndrome if you fast for more than, I think, 10 days due to fatal shift in fluid and electrolytes that may occur in malnourished patients. Let's learn a little bit on what happens when you fast. If you don't eat, your body will simply eat its own fat for energy. The body fat is a food energy that has been stored away. And your brain fuel also switches from glucose to ketones. If you are constantly eating, then your body will simply use the incoming food energy and it never burn the body fat. You will only store it. Let's learn about some possible side effects from fasting. Headache and dizziness. This can happen while you are getting used to the fasting in the beginning. Just drink lot of water. If still not better, you can drink small amount of clear soup or herbal teas with honey. If you still don't feel better, you can just break the fast. General myth is fasting makes you tired. In fact, opposite is true. Fasting makes you more energetic. If you experience excessive tiredness, you should seek medical advice. If you develop muscle cramps, it's usually from low magnesium. Take Epsom salt baths or foot soaks. Add about one cup of uh, Epsom salt to a tub of warm water and take bath or soak your feet. Your skin will absorb needed magnesium from Epsom salt. Few tips to remember during fasting. Drink plenty of water. The amount of water depends on your weight. Drink half an ounce of water for each pound you weigh. For example, if you weigh 200 pounds, you drink about 100 to 110 ounces of water day per day. And don't think too much about fasting. Just think it's your usual day. 
keep yourself busy that's very important you know hunger comes in waves when you get that wave just drink water or drink any herbal tea or bone broth if water is not enough but try your best to stick to just water and importantly don't binge eat after fast just eat normally the next day and the last but not least don't tell everybody around you that you're fasting fasting has been in human culture forever many people are feared and think it's dangerous or difficult your body adapts to fasting quickly how long you need to practice fasting just ask yourself how long you need to clean your house right simple as long as you live in the house you clean the house this is just cleaning your body you are getting the toxins out and you are getting the excess fat out of your body so you want to fast as long as you want to keep your body healthy there are only few studies done on fasting more research is needed in humans before the use of fasting as a health intervention can be recommended i do not recommend fasting for elderly or child under 18 pregnant or breastfeeding women if you are diabetic or take any prescription medication please check with your physician and you need to fast under supervision for more information on fasting please check my website www.drsaila.com d r s a i l a.com thank you